set you right, right there. So I just realized while kind of doing some figuring, I guess, or math, that this rim joist is where it should be sitting on that string. And this rim joist is half an inch that direction. Where that became obvious, I think, was down here. I'm not sure what tipped me off, but something didn't look right, I think. And so I started doing some measuring and it turns out this end rim joist was incorrectly placed by three quarters of an inch that way. So when I laid my string, um, I used that as a reference. And so I've been building this floor off of this string all along. And the result is going to be an out of square floor. So I guess the good news is I'm not all the way to the end. I haven't rolled all of these um, joists yet but I have rolled all of those joists and those are all secured on both sides and in the middle. So I think I'm going to take some time and I'm going to loosen the floor and I'm gonna to try to move it over half an inch to get these rim joists where they belong. We thought summer <laughs> was over because we got a really good cold snap. We even had some sub freezing temperatures and everyone's uh, winter's coming alarm was going off and the most common question asked on our Facebook probably was, do you think you'll get done before winter? That and everybody wants pumpkin chai lattes or whatever. But here we are right back to scorching hot sun. My orange shirt is back. My sun hat is back. Yesterday I probably should have worn it and I didn't. And I felt it last night. I just felt exhausted from the sun. So. We're back in our sun clothes. This may be the last hoorah before winter, not sure, but not upset at the sunny weather. It's just been a long, hot summer and uh, definitely ready for some cooler weather. In case you're curious what it's like to run around while framing a floor, this rim joist is in the center of our sill plates and there's just enough room for a boot on each side of the sill plate. These eye joists are not particularly it's rigid, I want to be clear, rigid in this uh, orientation. They are strong, but they're not rigid. But we can run back and forth across double eye joists. So where there's one, I wouldn't walk across that because it just has too much wobble or over here, I guess. But on a double, a guy my size can walk back and forth here uh, patiently. So that gives us pretty fast access across the floor. Um, and then when you get out in the middle there, you know, walking on that beam, that's a two by six. It's only five and a quarter inches wide, something like that, five and a half. And you got to walk between those joists on a five and a half inch wide beam. So definitely got to get comfortable with the height. And I think right now we're right at 10 and a half feet off the concrete. And to the outside, it's probably closer to 13 feet to the grip. But I guess once you kind of get your feet underneath you and you feel stable up here, you know, as long as you take your time and you don't get in a big hurry, you're good to go. Hey, look who decided to show up to work today. Did you finish building the house or is there still work to be done? You know what? I just made double work for us. So now you have job security. Did you really? Yeah. Have you given the masses their video for the day? It's uploading. Oh, <laughs> coming soon. Hey, Buttercup. <laughs> Think he's looking for a place to nap? I don't know. I think he's he wants to nap, so I don't think he'll come up right now. I think he'll come up this evening or maybe in the cloak of night. Do you want to start bringing him down that way? What we're going to do is just roll. Okay. So let's roll this single out of the way. Okay. Okay, I'm up. I got it if you want to step out of the way. Okay. 
Huh? Um, I'm ready. I moved over. You're not moved over. So we're just rolling these up and we're getting them attached on that rim joist down there. We've already marked 16 on center. And then it's my belief that we're going to come back and attach this rim joist and then attach on this end. Yep. Ready? Before it gets better to stand up here, it's getting worse. It's pretty much nowhere to walk. There's nowhere to set our screws. You coming to help me with the rim joist? Yeah. See this hammer or should I toss it to the hillside before it punctures our slab? Um, yeah, wouldn't hurt to toss it to the hillside. Okay. Just remember where I tossed it. Yeah, right. Okay, so there's a bunch of screws here. I have a bunch in my pocket, so okay. we want to move this we can. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go down there. Okay. Good. Ow. Sorry. Okay. I can't see you. You're fine. Let's let's stand it on its end. Yeah. Ready? Yep. You on? On the sill? Yeah. On the sill? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, let's lift it up. Okay. Don't go on there. It's like uh, eight inches or so off the corner. Attached somewhere, just don't see where. I don't think. Like, I should be able to lift it, shouldn't I? Uh, it's screwed in the middle, so probably not much. Basically. Shiner. We're marking our centers. I'm gonna get the first couple Ooh. there. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't have, there you go. And Alyssa learned that 16 on center is marked in red. On this tape. Probably not all tapes. No. Um, while you're down there, go ahead and pop off those, uh, well, you might want to get that attached first. The strings? Yeah. Okay. has come. <laughs> Should have done this about two months ago. Hey, we can walk up here now. Took a short break. The sun's really affecting us today and I'm gonna try to do a little bit better job of documenting, at least with this camera. I don't know if you've been able to tell from the last few videos, but I haven't been feeling it at all. Something we don't really share that often, but filming all this gets really exhausting because for us it's just a grind every day is a grind it's really we were talking last night how it's really easy to lose sight of what we're doing um and the reason why we started this whole thing in the first place so once we kind of get our heads on straight we realize why we're doing this and it becomes a little more tolerable even enjoyable that said i'm gonna get back up there i'm gonna attach these eye joists to the steel beam and i think jesse is gonna work on some blocking our engineer said it's not necessary to add the blocking between the eye joists but we're thinking it can't hurt and we have some extra material to use up so why not better safe than sorry oh she's a wiggly she's a wiggly one Hello. Hey. How it doing? It's coming along. 
Nice. Found a few sit. It's a lot better and always yeah. touch something. Yeah. Because you're less likely to lose your reference. Yeah, that beam's kind of narrow, huh? Last two. I don't know if we've shared what we're doing right here yet, but we're actually going to put a staircase right here so our eye joists are no longer spanning the entire width. I think Jesse was thinking that to fully block this out is probably going to take the better part of a day. So I don't know, maybe best case scenario we'll be putting our Warren board underlayment on uh, Sunday, which is two days from now. In the meantime, he's starting to cut the shorter eye joist to length, so I'm gonna go ahead and screw those down, 16 on center. Push her on up. Um, you're good, you're not gonna hit the rim joist. Am I gonna come short of it? Uh, looks like it. Oh, I wanna go past it. Okay. Fall back in the other side. Now? I can't tell, love. Just, I would give her a shove. Jesse commented that these screws are finally going to their grave, meaning this is the last place they'll ever be used. These poor things have been reused so many times. I have the other length for you. Okay. 22 feet, two and a quarter inches. Okay. Does that sound right? Yeah. Anything I could help with or stay out of the way? Um, I'm just coming on up. Looks good. Man, I wouldn't mind some water. Hey. A little parched. Yeah. Oh, look who came to visit me. Must be praying I don't fall off this wall. <laughs> um, anything I could help with? Um, I just need to make sure it's far enough that it doesn't fall into the side of the garage. Or Good. Good. Yep. Okay. Go. I can't resist. I have to go like towards the top of the hill to see what it looks like. Yeah. Here's our view from the hot tub deck. I mean, uh, the hot tub. And here's from the solar panels. Wowzers. Okay, to me a hair. Good. Need a hair more? Good. <laughs> That's funny. Can you make it fit? Here, let me try something. decided to kind of stop a little bit early today which is a silly term and uh, draining the hot tub and they're gonna put a fresh batch of water in there and then see if we can get it heated in the next maybe two and a half hours maybe kind of preparing for tomorrow we were at a good stopping point because we're about to frame the stair opening and in order to do that we need a six by six post um, to attach the beams and stuff to and we milled a bunch of stuff up and I'm really hoping that we have something in our pile that's that size put this on my head really quick I know these are six by sixes I just don't know if they're long enough so we need something that's hundred and thirty seven inches hey would you look at that so what size is this hundred and fifty inches it's got a little bit of wane on the other end that's okay. And that's six by six. So that little guy right there will probably, oh, there's, yeah, that's fine. There's just a little tiny bit of Wayne right there. 
So that little guy right there, I think is gonna become the post for our stairs. I may run him back through the mill, kind of give him a closer look tomorrow and see if it's got any twist in it. These poor beams have been sitting out here all summer. Eh, it's got a tiny little bit of twist. Not too bad though. All right, that's good news. So we don't necessarily need to get hung up on the sawmill tomorrow. We can hopefully just work on getting the framing done. Alyssa's doing a little drone footage. We always struggle to get that because we usually stop working so late that there's no light left. All right, I'm gonna get the hot tub ready and then we're gonna eat some dinner and relax. What a way to spend a Friday night. Oh yeah, I forgot, I found a yellow jacket's nest in the hot tub stove. That's how long it's been since we've hot tubbed. Not good. 